guys doing today? Um, today, I feel... <laughs> I want to wear sweaters so bad, but it's still so warm, so I have, like, the fan going in this room. I don't think I'm going to be able to wear this all day. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay. So, we're in November now. That's good. This is a good... We want to be here. The holidays are coming up. I know it. Target knows it, for sure. Like, 100% Target knows it. And makeup companies know it, because they are releasing all of their holiday collections. I don't know if it's all of them. Like, to be honest with you, how would I know? I'm not on the inside list, but a lot. There's a lot of them. So today I figured that we would go ahead and do a purchase or pass but focus only on holiday releases. And am I late to this game? Maybe. It's November. It is the beginning of November. If I'm late to this, I think that that says something more about society than it does about me. So I'm okay with that. So I'm going to Trend Mood's Instagram page and we are going to look at some new uh, releases for makeup companies and we're going to talk about if I would purchase or pass on them. My thoughts. Um, I tend to get a little petty during these because so much of this shit, you know, you gotta be mindful about that stuff. So much of it you don't really need. But um, there have been some holiday collections that I'm very into and normally I do buy a couple of collections during the holidays. So we're going to take a look. I'm going to skip over all new releases if they are not holiday collection themed or whatever. Um, like, I'm only going to focus on the, ho the holiday collections. Do you guys want to start taking shots every time I say holiday collection? That's up to you. So I'm scrolling through. I'm going to leave a link down to Trend Mood's Instagram below. I also leave links down to all of the products, um, at least the ones that are available, down below. If you're interested, let's jump into this. I'm going to scoot over so we can look at some products over here. Okay, so we're going to start out with a release from Lawless. Uh, they are releasing two holiday products. We have the Mini Glam One Eyeshadow Palette. It's $25. It is a mix of cool and warm tones with two metallic shades and six mattes. Okay, the palette itself, it's fine. I don't, I wouldn't, I would not spend $25 on this. It's a neutral palette. If you don't have a lot of neutrals in your collection, it's definitely worth looking into. It's very like, I mean, I get the, the cool and warm tones. I don't know why I'm getting such like a cool tone vibe from this and I don't, I, I don't get inspired when I see these shades. Like they're so, I, I'm not personally into it. So I would go ahead and skip this. The other set though is the mini Forget the Filler Lip Plumper Trio, which is $25. It's a limited edition set with three best-selling mini Forget the Filler Lip Plumper Line Smoothing Glosses in Rosy Outlook, which is a sheer baby pink, Daisy Pink, which is a sheer creamy baby pink, and then Velvet, which is a rosy mauve with plummy undertones. So I love the look of these. Like, this product is very intriguing to me. I don't want the minis, and I wouldn't buy the mini set. It's 25 bucks. I wouldn't buy that. However, I think I will look into the full sizes of these because those look really nice. A lip plumping line smoothing gloss. That sounds really interesting to me. That I would look into. Um, as far as this, as a holiday collection goes, I am not interested. But I do like the sound of that of the glosses. They sound really interesting, so. Okay, here is a pretty big holiday collection. It is the e.l.f. and I Heart Revolution collection. So I Heart Revolution is coming out with an e.l.f. collection for the holidays. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. It has me intrigued. So this comes with so many products. First of all is the OMG Palette Book Collection, which is $30. I'm assuming it's the one over here that has like the th three or four. It's four panels. Okay, so I can't see, like, exactly how the palette looks because of the angle that, like, the pictures are taken at. However, I like the concept of it. Um, I think that that's massive. And it looks like repeats of shades that, like, I already personally have in my collection. Um, but 30 bucks for that is a good price. I don't know much about I Heart Revolution's eyeshadow formula. So that would be something that if the shades were different, I'd probably be interested in getting it to try it out. I don't really care about these shades, so for me, I'd pass on that. Then there is the um, Ninny Muggins palette. Okay, I like that. The shades of this one, this is an $18 palette. It's just the, the, the big, I mean, it's big, but it's only the one palette. It's not multiples pushed into one. Um, the shades in this look nice. There are a lot of neutrals, and then you've got some pinks, a couple of blues, and then some, like, rusty shades. See, I feel like I would have liked to have seen more green and yellow, because that is the logo for e.l.f. Um, I would have liked to have seen more maybe Christmas themed shades. I don't know, but whatever I had in my head, it was not this. It wasn't this. 
I would skip this. I would skip it. Then we have the Candy Cane Lip Glosses. Uh, they are $10. There's Jack in the Box, Best Coffee and Cheer. I love the fact that these are swirled like candy canes. I think that is so cute. I don't know what shade is what lip gloss though. I would assume that this one at the bottom is uh, Best Coffee, just because it is a coffee, you know? I don't know about the other ones though. This one in the middle concerns me. What shade does that come? Uh, see, and that's, I would get it just to try it to see what shade it pops up on your lips, but I'd probably pass on those. It looks like an interesting concept because you've got kind of like a matte gloss or like a regular gloss and then you've got like stri stripes of shimmer in there. So it's an interesting concept. It's just not for me. I wouldn't do it. Then you have the Smiling's My Favorite Lip Care Duo for $8. Trendmood surprisingly doesn't have a whole lot of information about these products, so I don't know what that is. I would assume, I'm assuming it's like a lip scrub and a lip balm or two lip balms. For $8, that's a pretty good price, but I don't know enough about the products to really have much of an interest at that point, you know what I mean? Then we have an Eye Glisten. Um, there's two of them, they're $12 in North Pole and New York. So it looks like one is kind of more of a champagne -y shade, one is more of a pink shade, or like a rosish gold um, shimmer shade. I like products like these but I have these shades. These are like the most basic common shades. So I feel like a lot of people, if you are interested in this type of product, would have these shades already. It is interesting, and it looks like one is a shimmer and maybe one is like a, a glitter or like a, a chrome. I feel, it's weird because Treadmood normally has a lot more information. So I'm like p piecing so much of this together, okay? There is a primer and a setting spray. The primer is $14. The setting spray is $8. Um, the packaging on those are very cute. <sighs> I know nothing about them though. I don't know what the primer claims to do. The setting spray is the long stay setting spray. It looks like it's just packaged in like cute elf packaging, which I don't, I don't care enough about the packaging. Like this packaging is not that impressive to me, so I might skip that. Um, the Christmas Cheer Highlighters are $12 a piece. There's Jovi, Buddy, and Papa Elf. The only, oh, the only picture they have is like this little row right here with the highlights. Um, they look nice. There's no swatches of them or anything though. Would I get them? Probably not. This whole collection honestly feels a little bit like lackluster to me. There is also a brush set the Narwhal brush set for $22 and then a makeup bag for $12. Um, the brush set is probably what I would be the most interested in because I like brushes and I don't think I've ever tried any Makeup Revolution brushes. The makeup bag is an easy skip for me because I already have far too many makeup bags. It is a cute makeup bag though. It's just not, I don't, I don't need it. And, and then there's some bath products. So there is the Body spray for $8, the bubble drizzle for $8, the snowball bath fizzers for $8, and then the need a hug body butter for $8. Okay, bath fizzers, they look like snowballs. That's cute, that's on brand here. I like that. That one I might be interested in. The body spray, what what does it smell like? The movie is Elf. There are a thousand things. That I, could, I need more information than that. I would skip that. The bubble bath, listen, I think this is adorable because it's in like a syrup-like bottle. This is the standout to me of this collection. This is my absolute favorite thing from this collection. However, it's like bright red. I don't know why that concerns me. I, I, I wouldn't get it just because I can already tell it, like I, I can look at it and be like, that is gonna be so over the top, sweetly scented. I don't want it. And same with the body water. I'm over it. I don't, I don't like this collection. Um, this is available on November 4th, which was yesterday. So it's on their website and coming soon to Ulta. I'll leave a link. I'm not, I'm not into it. As I'm sitting here scrolling, I'm questioning if I should have just done a regular purchase or pass because a lot of these regular collections, I'm into way more than the holiday collections, but that's okay. Let's keep trucking. Okay, here is a collection. This is from Shantakaya. Listen, I googled how to pronounce that, so if I'm wrong, it's Google's fault. Shantakaya. Um, this is a brand that I have always been very intrigued by. I have never tried anything from them because they are outrageously expensive, but their products are always amazing. Like, well, they look amazing, and I've heard really good things, so maybe this is the year. Shantakaya is releasing three products. We have the, oh, god damn, the Pearl Lumiere, which is $110. It illuminates your skin. A pearly highlighter balm, 
creamy. That is pretty. It's really pretty. And I'm sorry, do you see this packaging? This all the, is pa all of these products are packaged in a covetable compact encrusted with pearl baubles. This is the type of just over the top ridiculous packaging that I live for. Oh my goodness. It's $110 though. I really want it. Um, I would purchase it. So, will I? I don't know. I would. But will I? Probably not. Then there is the Lumiere Eye Sheen. It's a pearlescent eyeshadow, shimmering pearl with a soft pink glow. This is $75. Um, okay. What a steal. This one I'd probably skip, honestly. I, I feel like I much prefer the highlighter out of the two of these, and it's pretty, but like I have other products that are incredibly similar to this that are ch way more affordable. They're cheaper, let's be honest. Um, it is pretty though. And then there's the Rouge Pearl, per I think that's how you say it, uh, also $75. It is a natural looking rosy flush of color, luminous powder balm blush infused with antioxidant rich cottonseed oil to nourish the skin while adding a soft pink sheen. I die. Okay, the blush and the highlight, that's what I'm interested in. Will I get them? Probably not, but I can always dream. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll have like some mental break in my sanity one of these days and actually buy one of these products. Probably not, but you never know. I mean, it could happen. It could. Um, okay, from Disney and BeautyBay.com, they have a collab for the holidays called Disney Madness. It comes with a Bambi eyeshadow palette, which has six shades, an Alice in Wonderland eyeshadow palette, which has six shades, and a hand mirror. The hand mirror is just this blue square thing. Um, no. And the palettes, no. I'm like looking at these, trying to figure out, why does Bambi have one brown and two blues? Why is that? I don't understand the color story of these palettes at all. Like literally not at all. And I don't like it. I think the Mickey Mouse head imprint is cute. There's no pricing listed. It is available um, on their website, but I don't like it. No. Okay, next there is a, a Disney brush sets uh, from Spectrum. I've heard Spectrum is phenomenal for brushes. I have not tried them, but I've heard amazing things. They are vegan and cruelty free. Each set includes six mini brushes for foundation, cheeks, eyes, and brows. There is a highlighter brush, an angled cheek, a curved complexion, a flat, fluffy shader, a tall tapered blender, and then an angled brow. They are $34 each. I will say, I think the packaging of these is adorable, and the commitment to detail, I mean, even just with the colors of the brushes, it's so cute. So each one is $43. You have... Ursula, which can I just say, I think it is genius that the handles are pink <clears throat> and the brushes, like the brush bristles, that I'm completely blanking on the name, are purple. That is so cute. There's Cruella, whose brushes are white and black in half with red handles. Um, I love that. The packaging is adorable. There's Minnie Mouse, who has red brushes with what appears to be like white bristles. That's not the word, is it? Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I don't know. There's Marie. Oh, this is so cute with some blue handles. I love that. And then the Evil Queen. Hers are green. That's okay. I love the commitment to detail. I love that. Here's the thing. I don't like mini brushes. I like full-size brushes. Um, I wouldn't get these solely because they're, they're described as mini brushes. Um, but they're really cute. And if they had done this in full size, I probably would pick up a couple because those are adorable. And I love the collector's mentality behind it. It's so cute. And everything matches with the character so good. And the packaging is adorable. And I love, love, love the concept. I just don't like mini brushes. $43 for six mini brushes. I don't know if that's good or not. Um, it's coming soon on their website. I love it, but I wouldn't buy it. I can appreciate it though. Uh, next there is the Lana Lips and Gelato Messina 101 Ointment Multi Balm in Salted Coconut and Mango Sorbet. Infused with natural coconut oil and mango fruit extract and vitamin E, the gold standard for antioxidants for a naturally sweet hydration boost. The sorbet flavored super rich balm gives extreme hydration for extremely dry and chapped lips, skin patches, cuticles, elbows, and more. It is limited edition for $14.95. This is considered a holiday release, um, and Lana Lips is cruelty-free. I only talk about cruelty-free releases on here because I only buy cruelty-free, so that's what makes sense to me. But 
I've tried Lanolips Lips before and I actually really like their products. This is interesting to me because salted coconut and mango sorbet, those are not scents or flavors that you normally see combined. Um, I will say there's a couple of promo pictures for this uh, and I'm really enjoying them. So I would definitely be interested in trying this out. I, I'm down for that. That looks really great actually. Uh, Juvia's Place Holiday Collection. Okay, this looks interesting. Um, there's a lot of products here. The first one is the I Live I Love Ice Eyeshadow Palette for $15. I like this. This is actually really cute and I feel like it really does, like if I think about like an ice themed eyeshadow palette, this is what I would expect. And I like Juvia's Place, their formula for eyeshadows is actually really good as well. Uh, this one I would look into because I'm really interested in a few of these shades. Like this looks really good. I'm, I'm down for that. You can also get this palette with a loose highlight for $26. Um, and then there's a second palette, the I Live I Love eyeshadow palette for $15. This one is cute too. Um, I think out of the two, I definitely like the Ice eyeshadow palette a little bit more. But this one is really cute actually. Maybe. This is also $15. I don't have to think about this one. You could also get this one with an eyelid primer for $15 or for $26. This palette plus an eyelid primer, $26. I'd have to think about that. That's interesting to me. Okay. Um, then there is the I Live I Love Lip Kit in Self Love, which is $23. It comes with a Self Love liquid lipstick in like a warm nude shade and then a lip liner in cola. Um, this is 20 so it's $23. They also have it in Lover Girl for $23, which is a warm red Lover Girl liquid lipstick and a lip liner in Scorpio. Okay, so I have these lip liners and these liquid lipsticks look very small and oddly shaped. I like the concept of this, but these I would skip because I just don't need them. There's also the I Live I Love Eyeliner Kit for $23. It is a pen liner and a liquid eyeliner. This one I'd be interested in. I really like the look of that actually, and I would definitely be more into trying their eyeliners because I don't think I've tried their eyeliners yet. So that one I could get on board with. And then there's also the I Live I Love Pro Brush Set. It's got 12 brushes in it. Um, I, like, I actually like the handles of these. Like, these are really cute, I think. But there's no price listed. And I'd probably skip it. I don't know why I have no really, like, I have no real reasoning for that. I just, I'd probably skip that one. Okay, um, more holiday stuff for Makeup Revolution. We've got some sets and advent calendars. Uh, the first product is the You Are Revolution Advent Calendar 2021. It's $55, comes with lipsticks, lip glosses, highlighters, makeup brushes, and more. This looks pretty interesting, lots of full-size products, which is really nice, and the price is really nice, but it's just not exciting. Like, I'm not excited by this, so I probably wouldn't end up getting something like this. I feel like I'm trying to be a lot more pickier about advent calendars because they are super fun and I love them, but so many of them are so overpriced for what you get. This one I would skip just because I'm not excited enough about it. There's also the 12 Days of Chocolate Advent Calendar, which is $48. You get a mirror, glasses, blush, highlighter, brushes, palette, etc. This is a lot of pink for a chocolate collection. I don't get it. Um, the mirror is cute looking, but that's about the only thing that I'm really interested in here. It's too much pink for 12 days of chocolate. I don't understand that. I don't like that. Um, then, this is more at my alley. This is the Chocolate Volt Tin for $85. There is a 30 pan shadow palette, two chocolate palettes, salted caramel scented fixing spray, a chocolate drip eye brush set, and more. This looks really nice actually, and this big palette, the 30 pan one, um, I like the shades that I can see of that, and I love this, these little palettes that look like chocolate drips, you know what I mean? I think that's really cute. This is probably what I would be the most interested in out of everything listed here, but I still don't think for $85, I don't think I'd pick it up, because I'm not $85 interested in it, you know what I mean? Um, then there is the Friends 12 Days of Christmas Advent Calendar for $60. Here's a closer look at that advent calendar um, and like the products that you get. They've had a Friends collection and I haven't been like super interested. It just looks not the greatest like well done. It, I don't know. I like the scrunchies though. The scrunchies are really cute. I'd skip it. We'd skip it. Okay. And then you have the Cookie Tin which is $38. You get the cookie palette, the face palette, a brush set, two cookie bath fizzers, and a gloss duo. Super cute. Um, I love the cookie bath fizzers. I think that's adorable. Um, I love the packaging for this. I think that the little tin is so cute. 
The price I think is a little bit better because it's only $38, but even so, pass. And then for the final product, you have this one's a cracker for $12, which is a chocolate palette, a gloss, and a mirror. Um, I love Christmas crackers. I think this is a very cute concept. I think the price is great for $12. You get a palette, a gloss, and a mirror. That's a good deal. But again, I'm just not, not inspired by it. I don't like it. Okay, now we have something from Glossier. Again, this is how Google says it's pronounced. Yell at Google, not me. Okay, this is the balm.com in cookie butter. A hydrating lip balm packed with antioxidants and natural emollients to nourish dry chafed skin. So their balm.com I do like actually. It is a product that I enjoy. Cookie butter sounds delicious. I like cookie butter. This looks great. And this shade is actually right up my alley too. This is $12. It is limited edition. Again, this is, this would be something that I would pick up. So, so far I would buy two lip balms. Okay, this is one that I have seen before, and I think this is one of the ones that I'm most excited about. This is from Patrick Ta Beauty. It is the Major Headlines Blush Palette. It has three new shades with two different formulas, textures, um, a cream, and a powder. So three creams, three powders. $58, which is on the pricier side, but I feel like, like I would pay that price for this. I'm comfortable with that price, okay? Um, you have... She's a Doll, which is a poppy pink. She's Vibrant, which is a vibrant orange red. And then She's Baked, which is a tanned mauve. Three in cream, three in powder. So very reminiscent of the Tati Beauty uh, eyeshadow palette. I like the concept of that, actually, because I like to layer cream and powder blush because I feel like it lasts longer. So having the identical shades or, like, very close shades in a cream and powder formula is super convenient. I know that Patrick Ta Beauty is sold at Sephora, though. I don't shop at Sephora. I have to see, because I've never, like searched out Patrick Ta Beauty, but I will be looking in to see if there is a website specific to this brand, a branded website that I can buy this blush palette at. I know that um, as of this posting, shortly after this, it got sold out at Sephora. I really want one though, so I'm gonna see if I can get it from the Patrick Ta website and we'll, we'll see how it goes. I really should do like a face palette declutter. I really want this. Okay, I'm gonna, like, look at this. I'm gonna post up a picture here. One of the promo pics. Is this not completely stunning? I mean, I need this. I need this. This is one of, like, the most exciting things that I've seen this holiday season. I want it. I'm gonna try to find a way. I'm gonna try to find a way. And if I do, I promise you will hear about it for sure. Uh, Jaclyn Hill is coming out with a holiday collection, the Naughty and Ice collection. You know, y'all, I will say, I have been using the highlighter that I picked up from Ulta from Jaclyn Hill and oh my goodness I am obsessed with it so I'm into it um this collection has several products uh it has these sweet glaze lip lacquers which are $18 high impact color with high shine finish there are four shades they look beautiful um these shades are gorgeous and I'm kind of into that there is also the Pout Spoken Liquid Lipstick for $20. I do have one of her Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks, and it's actually pretty good. So yes, I'm into that too. There are four new holiday shades, best-selling, long-wearing matte color. There are also uh, four matching shades in the Pout Spoken Lip Liner for $18 to pair with the Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks Creamy High Pigment Pencil. They all look so pretty. Like they, I love, I love all of those. There is also the Winter Sun Face Palette for $38. It is a cream powder trio, perfect for layering and taking with you on the go. Well, that's pretty. That's really pretty. There is the Skin Perfecting Oil Primer for $34. Prep, prime, and nourish skin for a radiant lit from within glow. Wear alone or under makeup for a natural dewy finish. Okay. Glaze Over Shimmer Top Coat, $26. Pure Pearl Pigments, buildable water-based shadow can top off any look with a subtle sparkle or a full-on glassy sheen in six shades. Again, these shades, oh my god, look at those. So there's a picture in here of like the, like the full PR collection, I guess, or like the full collection right here. Um, is that still available, do you think? Because this is pretty. This is really pretty. This was posted October 17th, though. It looks like they were selling the entire collection for $385. Oh, 
it's sold out. You can also, they also had bundles of a bunch of other stuff on their website. They're all sold out. Some of the individual products are still in stock though. Oh, I might, I might have to get some of these because these look, I, they look really nice. Like again, this is exciting to me. I'd purchase it. All right. Okay, uh, last but not least, let's trash talk some Morphe. So I don't like Morphe as a company. Um, some of their products are pretty decent though. Most of them aren't. They've got some, they've got a couple good ones. They've got a couple good ones. Um, so this is the Larger Than Life Holiday Collection. It includes the 35X Big Primpin Artistry Palette for $26. I love big palettes like this. I love, I love them. This one I actually really like because it's like a nice <clears throat> neutral palette. Um, my only issue with this is that I'm not a big fan of Morphe's eyeshadow formulas. The only eyeshadow palettes that I've loved that they have done are the Jaclyn Hill palettes. Those were the kind of big moment for them. And all of the other eyeshadow palettes I've tried from them have been meh. I like this. I think $26 for a palette like this is a steal, but I wouldn't get it because I don't trust their eyeshadow formula. Um, they have the 9 Lil Extra Artistry Palette for $12. Very reminiscent, obviously, of like the ColourPop 12 pan palettes. It's the same basic concept. Again, this color story doesn't excite me as much, um, but again, I would skip that. There is the Make It Big Trio, which is $25, and it looks like it's a mascara, a liquid liner, and then a lip product. This I like. This is interesting to me. I don't know why. I think it's the packaging, because this packaging is so cute. It's like nice and, and subdued and simple, but it's really cute. This I might end up checking out, maybe. There is also the Jumbo Continuous Setting Mist for 22 bucks. Listen, I really like the Morphe Setting Spray. Um, I think it's a really good setting spray. I love the Continuous Mist. For a jumbo size, I would want to know like how big it is, but I would probably pick that up for sure. And then there is the Best of Blends 7-piece brush set for $29. Morphe brushes, they do get, okay, so I have Morphe brushes. I like them, but they do get scratchy after a few washes. Some of them do, not all of them, but like some of them do. So it doesn't, it's not enough to like really irritate me, but I also wouldn't go out of my way to buy cute sets of brushes for Morphe at this point in my life. I'd skip that. I feel like we've talked about enough today. That was a lot. I'm so torn on holiday releases this year. I, there's so many of them I don't like, but then there are a couple where I'm like, yes, I need that. Like the Jaclyn Hill collection, love. The Patrick Ta blush palette, love. There were a couple of lip balms that I'm like, okay, I'm not like dying to go get it or whatever, but like I'd purchase it if I happen to see it. And so many of them are just, <sighs> What do you guys think? What holiday releases that I mentioned or otherwise are you guys wanting to get? Are there any that you are like, absolutely not, no sir, no ma'am, no way, I'm not getting that. Um, and are there any, like the Patrick Ta one, where you're like, I'm gonna go look for it because I need that in my life. Um, let me know down below in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it was semi-helpful for you. I feel like there were a lot more holiday releases on Trend Mood. I guess back when she was announcing them, and now we've moved on to regular releases because the holidays are over. I get very, I get very irritated about this. Um, I like the fact that they're really, that companies are releasing holiday launches um, earlier because it's nice because you can kind of plan out and get what you want, you know, and it makes it a little bit easier for for shopping and for gifts and things like that. But it also kind of annoys me because we are in November and now it's just back to regular launches. It's November. It's November. You know what I mean? I wonder if Patrick Ta would have those blush palettes on sale for Black Friday. All right. Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that bigger subscribe button below me if you'd like to see more of me in the future. Normally, I am not so all over the place. Like, there's a little... Any okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will catch you next time. Have a great one. Goodbye.